Californians are not particularly happy with the overall state of public education in California. In fact, barely one quarter on an A through F grading scale give the state schools a grade of either an A or a B. That said, Californians are much more positive when it comes to schools that their own children attend and schools in their own neighborhoods and their own communities. More than half of our respondents, when asked about those schools in their own neighborhoods, gave those schools an A or a B. So we asked people a couple of different ways, you know, what the problems were with education and what could be done to improve education. And, and one, one thing that just leaps off the page is that everybody feels that parental involvement is a key to an effective public education system. I mean, it's like 90% of people, virtually everyone. They understand that even in a very effective teacher and a very effective school, can only do so much for a student unless that child's parents are actively involved in their education as well. So they want more parental involvement. They want, more, they want smaller class sizes. Um, they certainly want more financial resources. And they want more money spent in the classroom and less on administration and bureaucracy. But we also found there were some measures that the public did not support as a way to improve schools. For example, they did not like the idea in general of turning over low-performing campuses to either a for-profit corporation or a non-profit corporation. Now, most charter schools are non-profits, so, and, and the public also expressed some support for charter schools in general, so there's some mixed mind going on in relation to charter schools. But what they're saying in this response is that, you know, education has a lot of problems, but we shouldn't just give up on the way we do things entirely and just say to the private sector or to the, the, a non-governmental entity that, no, you do it. You can do better than government can. Because our respondents felt so strongly about the need for additional financial resources for California's public schools, we asked them not only if they'd be willing to see higher taxes to pay for the schools, but be willing to have their own taxes raised. And we very specifically framed the question in that way. We found, perhaps surprisingly, and it surprised some of the pollsters, that, that people are willing to raise their own taxes and they're willing to pay for schools that are outside their community as well as those inside their community. So it was about approaching two-thirds of voters who said, yeah, raise my taxes, raise my taxes, and let's pay for, let's put more money into schools. And that becomes an interesting point for policymakers, and it suggests that people in Sacramento maybe should be paying attention on that issue, that maybe there is support for raising taxes, at least if the money went to public education. Voters are a little bit nervous about sending money up to that amorphous pot in Sacramento, but if they know it's going to be spent at the school down the street, they're willing to pay a little bit for that.